Hello again, this is Bradley with another VR review video with Wild Hurricane Productions. And this video I'm going to show you this uh, hockey game, Pickup League Hockey. I have checked it out before, but, sorry, I have checked it out before, but it's, uh, it's a good game. I'm going to show you all the different features for it here. So as you can see, the controller is your stick. You hit it on the ice, it makes a sound, I like that. Here's all your uh, news, I guess. A little welcome screen, hit the back to get started. And then here's your simple controls, skate forward, and turn, skate backwards. Trigger is to hold this in rotation there like that, see how it'll move if you don't hold it. And then when you do hold it, let's say I hold it here, It'll always stay in that one same angle. That's what it means by lock stick rotation. Double tap to sprint and hold it up. We'll hold your stick up, go like that to break. See how it says sprint there? That's how you know your sprint is ready to go. Let's just take a quick gander at the whole arena here because, you know, it's actually pretty, pretty good. The only thing, it would have been nice to have, um, Jumbotron up there that would have been made it a little bit more Interesting, so let's start moving. I tapped it once because you're supposed to be on skates You tap it once and you start gliding which makes the controls a little Hard to get used to and the stick is very sensitive Which it actually warns you if you go over there Let's go over here. There's actually a little extra stuff here controls again in case you forget while you're playing Movement, puck handling, see it uh, gives you a little advice here. Tries to recreate hockey as close as we can, but it's important to note the differences. Because there's no friction or weight with your hockey stick, it means that when you handle the puck, you'll tap it very slightly, and it will move farther than you would, you would have expected, or it would in real life. And shooting and passing. You know, if you play the game, I'll let you take a look at those. I'm not going to bore you with the details here. I'll just show you how the game kind of works. So you don't really have to hold forward. You really just need to press it once. You can press it more times to keep your, uh, to get your speed up. I'll show you what happens when I hit the sprint here. See, sprint is gone. So I speed sped up a little bit. Now I'm slowing back down again. I'll show you another time here because it's ready to go you can see I speed up a little bit there and you can hear it too one of the things I do like is you can actually hit the pylons so you can actually work on your stick handling here now stick handling is very hard in this because of that see I didn't uh, you know I'm a decent I'd like to say I'm a decent hockey player and in this, I am not good at all. So, that's one of the reasons, as you saw, that you want that stick rotation too. It's, uh, when, see there, I got it in again. When you line up your shot, if you just go like this, it's going to see, it's going to make the puck curve. So, if you lock your rotation, you go like that, it helps push it in a straight line. I'll give you another example here. See right now, I'm not straight on with the puck, but if I lock my stick in, I can still shoot it straight. Oh, come on, right on the line. Nudge. You know, so that, um, it's kind of how it all works. That's why your stick rotation, even though it's not realistic, actually helps a lot with the control of the puck. Because you have no control over your blade, really. It just goes off your angle, right? The movement isn't too bad. You kind of do get dizzy, especially like how I'm moving around really fast right now. You can get a little dizzy and a little bit of that motion sickness, but it's not, not too, too bad. The stick controls is pretty, pretty good for how it is considering the, 
the controller that they're limited to. It's not the best controller, so it's, pr it's pretty good for what it is. Graphics are not too bad. I mean, could be better. Maybe it's just a demo version and they're going to come out with a better one. But if you get too close to the goalie here, you can actually see... You see where the texture and the dummy kind of overlap each other. It shows that it's two different drawings, really, if you see. You can see a little bit more realistic looking helmet in the back here. And the shoulders, it's all a different color than the straight on. So that's not really that good. Kind of throws you out of it a little bit. And it would have been cool, too, if they had some images or people looking in the stands. It would just added to the whole effect of you being in an arena. Other than that, you know, the ice looks like ice and, you know, nothing looks too bad here. So this is just the practice area. I'll show you quickly what the multiplayer looks like. Uh, there's no one. Just join a random one. There we go. Green team. Okay, we're in the multiplayer server. And see, what I like about that is it actually has that over there. Time is going. I don't know what team I'm on at the moment. Looks like I'm on the green team. Let's see, blue. No, blue I'm team. on the blue team. Okay. So, I can't see my... Oh, it shows me on the stick. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, let's try... Uh, what happens? Switch it to the green. Green team. Oh, there it goes. Now it's green. Okay. Because you can't... Uh, see, see here, you can't see your own body can't see your own body so it's good to know that if you look at the tip you can see what color your team is on that's good I don't know what it looks like when you're playing with other people because um, I haven't actually ran into other people in this game just yet but I imagine it you know looks you would look pretty much like these guys all floating around with their sticks waving around you know um, yeah, as you can see right there, on multiplayer, because it's internet, for me anyway, the puck is laggy, and the game itself, I would assume, would be laggy, that means. Yeah, you can see that. I'm sure if you had a better or a faster internet connection, it wouldn't be so bad. Um, but overall, it's a pretty decent experience. You kind of just skate around, shooting the puck around. It's not, uh, you know, it's... The first hockey game I've seen with the Google, sorry, not the Google, with the Samsung Gear VR and the controller. So it's, you know, considering that, it's a really good situation because it's the only one. I don't really have anything else to compare it to. I didn't mention the beginning of the video, but yes, I am using, uh, as you saw from the menu, I am using the Gear VR, obviously. And with the controller, obviously, you can see it here. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much it for the game. I can't show you anything else because, like I said, there's nobody else playing. So for me right now, it's just skating around, hitting the puck around. We can go back to practice. Oh, someone just joined. Blue team. Oh, yeah, there's someone here. I'm going to mute myself here because... I don't want him to hear me talking in the video. Oh, uh, that's really cool. Okay, let's, uh... Hello? Let's play. Oh, I'm on the blue team. I can score on them. Yeah! Look at that. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is cool. I've never actually gotten to play with anyone before. I like it. Oh, yes. Boy, who is you? I'm doing it. Got it. Oh. Okay. I just got, uh, as you saw, I just got disconnected from the Wi-Fi, so that shut me down. But that's okay. I should. I was going to get distracted anyway. <laughs> this video is going to go on way too long. The main idea is to show you the concepts. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the... That's the hockey game. Not too bad. Can't complain. It's, it's pretty good. Okay, that's the pickup league hockey game. 
it's pretty good. It's pretty fun skating around, hitting the puck around. Pretty exciting. I actually got to run into someone on the on the on the multiplayer there. Sorry, on the multiplayer, and you know that that was good. Uh, for the visual graphics, I'm gonna have to give it a rating of three. It's not the greatest. It's just pretty cartoony. It is pretty. You know, there were some bugs with the with the avatars and the goalies, and didn't you know it kind of threw you out of it. It is very obvious you're playing a demo game of some sort or a fake game. So that's, uh, you know, it's not necessarily terrible, but it's not great. So I think 3 is a fair fair rating for that. For the use of controller, I'm going to give it uh, a 4. Very good use of the controller. I like how it, your stick lifts off the ice. You can hit the ice with the stick, moves it around. And I like how they made use of buttons in ways where you couldn't even think of using them uh, for example breaking going going like that you know up and holding the trigger to break instead of having to quickly press the back button a bunch of times to slow down so that that was good the sprinting and also um, locking the stick rotation actually I thought that was very a very brilliant idea so I'll give it a four for the, the use of controller um, the overall gameplay I'm gonna give it another four it is very fun easy to get lost lose some time in there and get lost in the skating world would have been a little bit better if they had some people sitting in the stands um, other than that it's really fun it's a lot of fun there's a lot to do if you like hockey which I do I grew up playing hockey it's fun to just skate around hit the puck around get online if you have a bunch of friends you guys can play together and that would make it a lot more fun and then uh for the comfort level i'm going to give the comfort level a uh, rating of three it's not uh you know it is pretty smooth especially because you're skating and not walking that helps with the uh, motion sickness but when you're moving really fast and you're turning around and you got to move this way and that way and you're skating backwards looking this way and you know, you get you get dizzy very fast. So that's gonna give it a total rating of thirteen. I believe that's a, sorry, I'm trying to do the math in my head there. I believe it comes to a total rating of thirteen out of twenty. It is still a pretty fun game. I definitely suggest checking it out. If you're a fan of hockey, uh you got a bunch of buddies you play games with all the time, then it's definitely a fun game to get into. So I definitely suggest checking it out anyway and that's for now see you next time with another video